Well, howdy. Welcome to Fishtails. Today we have the big tying event. Fly, tie, and fry, except I don't think we're going to do any frying. We're going to do plenty of flying, plenty of tying. I'll make some leaders for some folks. I've got a couple of new uh, cutting board fly tying stations that I made up. And uh, I'm in my new truck, <laughs> new 2000 Nissan. It'll get me there. I just need a truck for things like this. I got a truck full of crap right now. And I'm headed out to the ranch and we're gonna do some fly tying. Y'all hang on, this is gonna be quite a day. We gotta do it all day long. Uh, at least that's how we're scheduled to do it. Gotta go to work first. You know how it works. Somebody locks themselves out. And tech guys gotta go free them up. That's all right, no problem. Stay with me. This is going to be fun. And you can, you can let it turn toward me or go the other way. I don't know. So, you know, just going to tie it on. So yeah, can just like that. It's actually right in the middle. Build his leader with right blood right there. from a party. All right. The tying part's done. Now we're going to do the flying part. I'm just gonna walk down here. I think it's about 410 or so. So I'm just gonna walk down here and work over the upper end real good again. Maybe cross over and work back along that bank. I don't know for sure what I'm gonna have time to do. The rain's moving in. It held off all day for our little event, fly tying and leader making and gear talk. That was very enjoyable. Alright, I got this new rig rigged up in a new way. I have modified the bunny fly, bunny foo foo. Now he's froggy foo foo. <laughs> and I am, I like my froggy flies. Let's see what happens now. No taker so far. Haven't got into the sweet spot yet. Maybe. Looks like a little fish. This is going to be a one fly event because I've only got one fly. <laughs> I changed waders so I don't have any spare flies with me. So I got one fly in my name right now. One fly to my name. And it's one I just tied. It's a bunny fly. Turned around and redesigned to look a little bit more like a frog than a perch or a sunfish a bait fish the only difference is the direction that the uh, feathers turn you make them so they turn out splayed out in the water I expect something to hit it sooner or later and I didn't get all the holes fixed in my waders so I can feel my leg getting cold. Uh oh, hey, that looked like something was rolling it. Come on, fish, where are you? Where are you? It's starting to rain a little bit. This isn't bad. The temperature's still in the 50s, I think. It's not that cold. Air temperature feels like it's about the same as the water temperature. Mm, what these fish these fish want today. Of course this is very unsettled conditions right now. I think that pressure's dropping. I'll reserve judgment until I get closer to dark. 
even though this these are good conditions because the gray skies there's no shadows that goes for the same in underwater light comes from everywhere somewhere in here there's gonna be a fish it took a little while but there's the good feet oh it's a crappie I'll be dang <laughs> that was a surprise a crappie on my new froggy foo foo <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. A crappie. I'll be dang. That's actually not so unusual. These darker conditions where the sunlight begins to drop, these fish do come up to the surface. Which tells me I ought to be using a popper dropper. But whatever. These fish are going back in today because I don't have time to fool with them. Alright. Thanks for coming. Do that about a hundred times more. Alright folks, we have made it to the promised land. And I got up here nice and quiet. So it's likely to happen again today. I can keep my line all straightened out, keep my fly working good. I am likely to catch something out of here today. I got back here real quiet. I know nobody's been back here. So it's quiet, quiet, quiet. If you want to sneak up on something, you got to be quiet. I need to make sure I hit every bit of this. Oh, I got lots of debris at my feet. I'm messing with my line. I'll walk out here just a little further get to where my line is clear I'm gonna see now. I got the area here in front of me where I'm stripping my line is clear so I can work this whole spot work the whole spot I think the crappie are actually a little more active than the bass at this point I've had a couple of small ones on they didn't hang on to it and I jerked them clear out of the water they're certainly hitting like crappie, not so much like bass. But this is prime time. It must be about 5 o'clock, I guess. But being nice and gray like this, no shadows, I'm going to catch me a big bass. This is a test fly, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. Might be moving water. Oh, there he is. 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 There he goes. I saw that fish coming up. He's not a giant fish, but he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a two, yeah, not two pound, pound and a half. Come here, fish. <laughs> yeah, I got back here nice and quiet, and that's my reward. Not a very big fish. Fought good though. He got a lot of energy. I'll tell you what, let's put him back in the water. See you later, fishy fishy. Thanks for coming. Go tell your mama to get over here. I'm gonna do that again. I tell you, this is why I like fishing in not the best weather. Because you can get a place like this to yourself, even though I do have company. Fred's way over there on the other end. He's in his kayak and I'm void fishing. It's a big lake, so we don't interfere with each other at all. I'm going to need a little more distance so I can get that fly a little closer to the bank on the other side. Back here in this protected cove, it's quiet. Surface of the water is smooth. This isn't 
terrible conditions, if you ask me. This is not bad at all. Water is cold. The air is not that cold. The wind has turned around. It's come out of the south, so that's always good. Had to get a little more distance. A little more distance out of my cast. I need about 10 more feet. May not be able to get it. My line's not acting real good. It's not behaving itself. It's not acting real good. Alright, fairly good cast. Let's see what I can spook up. I'll just make my way right down there. 30 feet further and fish the rest of that cove from that point just like I've done several times this week. I was here Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and again today on Saturday. So I'm doing good if I can get out that much. A little more distance. Fishing's not just stellar. That's pretty typical for this time of year. In this smooth water, when something comes up to that fly, I can see it. See, there he is. There he is. Look at that. Oh, little bass. <laughs> okay, maybe the fishing is stellar. All right, let's see. I kind of steer my fly away from that obstruction. Whatever that is right there. I am using a very shallow running fly. It's actually a surface fly. When you pull it, it sinks down just a little bit and then it floats back to the surface. At least until my line starts dragging it down. My floating fly line doesn't float anymore because it's so old and I haven't taken care of it. I need to get some new line, but I gotta wait till payday. I just hope my shoulder holds out. This line is much harder to cast with when it's wore out like it is. You can work yourself to death. Doesn't go through the guides worth a darn and can be a real pain to work with. Well, there's little little froggy foo foo. Those legs spread out. When it gets in the water, those legs spread out like that. I probably should have tied that as just a simple uh, brim fly. I'll use this design. I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve that I'll be using. It's a very minimalist fly. There's not much to this. Not a lot of layers. That's basically four feathers, a little bit of deer hair, and a rabbit strip with a foam head. But it's working. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that is not a fly. <laughs> that is half of a barrel swivel. My fly just flew off because I used too small of a barrel swivel and it came apart. I know where my fly is, <laughs> but it's on the other side. I got a real good cast. <laughs> All right, guess what? I didn't bring any other flies with me. So I need to go back to the car and get another fly. I guess I need to put Bunny Foo Foo on there. I don't know, dang it. All right, well, let's don't dilly dally. Let's get this done. Well, after a day of tying flies and making gear and talking to lots of folks, seeing new people, that was pretty much it. I was done. And so was Fred. So we called it a day. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.